Hi guys, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. This is a, another video to my Umrah and Hajj series that I have going. Um, if you haven't done so already, do check out those videos. I'll put like links down below. This is a Umrah with Baby top tips video. So Alhamdulillah, we were able to go to Umrah when Yahya was 11 and a half months. Um, and if you are in a position where you're thinking, oh my God, shall I take my baby? Definitely take your baby. There's nothing wrong with it. You get so much reward for doing it and it will be such a good family experience. And these are kind of things that I learned along the way. And I wanted to share with other mums that are thinking about taking their little one to Umrah. number one is your expectation if you have been before you'll know that it is such a lovely place to be a really good experience and you will absolutely love it but when you're going with a baby it's completely different of course because you're going to still be looking after a baby especially if your baby is so little so yeah yeah 11 and a half months still under one and just being so small you have to care for your baby they're not self-sufficient they need mummy there all the time or daddy there so definitely definitely make sure that you have your expectations lowered know that when you are looking after your baby it is a form of ibadah so don't kind of be like ugh you're gonna get so much reward for looking after a baby while you're doing umrah. Like that's the biggest thing for me anyway. Tip number two, definitely try and get your partner to start taking baby to the mosque. It is ideal if they are going regularly on like a weekend or whenever they go uh, with dad. We started taking Yahya when he was about five or six months, but we're quite fortunate because we live so close to a mosque. Um, but he kind of like just loves it, sits there quietly. And now when we go, he like would even get involved, like stand up and say Allah Akbar and you know, do his thing. But it's definitely good to get kids used to it. We're lucky that we also have an azan clock at home actually. So if you do have that, put it on loud, get baby used to the azan, um, and it just gets them used to an environment really. Tip number three, try not to change their routine. Like if they've got a routine going, just keep them at it. Like if it's, make sure that, you know, UK timing or Saudi timing, if it's not that bad, like I think ours was a few hours and it wasn't too bad. Um, so just make sure you try and keep them at it because if they need to nap, then get them to nap while they're in the harem. Have a, like a little neck pillow that they can sleep on, a blanket, a swaddle on the floor, their milk bottle, like have it all ready, have it prepared and they'll just knock out. If it's their bedtime, they'll go to sleep. I would definitely try and do naps in the sling. It was an ideal thing for us to do. I got a sling with a really good back support. It was the Ergo Baby one. And it's perfect because it has this like little UV protector, but it's all black. So it literally blacks out baby, um, protects him as well from the sun. And it just allowed me to kind of like be hands-free, read a book, um, do whatever I needed to do, as well as pray. So I would also keep him in the sling and read my prayer. A backpack is a must. Definitely try and get a lightweight one. Um, the one that we took this time was the Tiba Amar backpack um, that we have started using. It is a bigger backpack, but we need to take more things with the baby. So I had to kind of like have it. But um, for my Umrah, in my Umrah video, I have definitely taken a lightweight backpack, which was ideal for just when it was me. Um, but for baby you will need a little bit of a bigger one when you go obviously you'll need to take a shoe bag so that's in my what's packing on my video but when you're with baby it's easier if you have the shoe bag that can attach to your backpack um, so it's just literally getting one of those clips and just clipping them on when you're walking into the harem with the baby in the sling and a backpack on the back you don't want to be taking the backpack off putting your shoe taking your bag out putting your shoes in Blah, blah, blah. No, you just want to be able to take your shoes off and just sling them in the bag while you've got your backpack on. So you can just sling the bag forward, put your shoes in and walk inside. And as well as when you're coming out, just take the shoes out and put them back on um, instead of faffing around because it does get really busy when it's prayer times and people are leaving or coming. You want to make sure you are nice and quick. 
Definitely plan your Umrah time around baby's sleep time or nap time. Umrah does take a few hours. Probably the best thing to do is to do it when they are asleep for the night. So we did it at about 8 p.m. at night. Um, we planned it so that he would go to sleep. <sighs> he didn't go to sleep. He went to sleep when we were doing Safa and Marba. And if anybody's done Umrah, they know Safa and Marba is at the end of Umrah. So yeah. Zahid wasn't happy, but um, I kind of took over and gave him milk in the sling and he went to sleep, but um, he wasn't happy. He was playing with his granddad, which was really cute, but what can you do? They're kids, right? At night time, it's also cooler, so you don't want to be doing it in the morning when the sun is beaming down on baby. So yeah, like I said, try and give baby a bottle in the sling. That's definitely a top tip. Um, they can literally just sleep on the side um, in the sling. So just try it out at home before you go. But it's it's the easiest thing and they are comfortable because they're close to you and you're picking them up. They love that. Try and find loads of open space um, and that is shaded you don't want to be sitting outside with the sun beaming down on you and baby so that they can run around as well and you can see them and it's safe um and it's cool take a ton of snacks and sweets baby will be in the baby area as well as you so there'll be loads of kids around and it's just nice to be able to give out sweets and things um and have baby like walk around and like if your baby is walking yeah he was walking by then and he would just like make friends um which was really cute but people from all over the place so they love like the uk sweets so definitely try and hand those out. Figure out where you need to sit. So in Medina, because because you're not gonna be sitting with the adults, you're not gonna be sitting with the rest of your family, let them guys go and do their thing because they haven't come to look after your baby. You need to look after your baby and you need to be in the kids section. So in Medina, you sit right at the back, the women sit right at the back anyway, um, but for the babies section, that's right at the back. And what I would definitely suggest is in the baby section sit at the front because there's like a lovely little gate at the front as well so it's protected and it's got a really good marble space so baby can run around and you know that they're safe because it's all enclosed and you can see them and they can see you um, and they've just got a bit of space to like you know make friends in, in Mecca definitely go through the King Fahad gate go up one flight of stairs um to the library so on the left hand side is the women's area and it's kind of got all these bookshelves around so it's really nice and safe for baby to run around in and it's carpeted um it's just really cool it's got fans going it's not outside it is inside so that's another plus point it just basically stops them running into crowds and for you to be able to see them and they see you which is kind of what you want for safety right the aircon is always on the fans are always on so just make sure you take enough fan not fans make sure you take enough cardigans and blankets with you um, and enough socks so the socks with grips is a must pack plenty of those i used to double up sometimes as well um just because there's water lying around as well so you just want to be careful i had this really cool neck pillow from muji which was ideal for baby sleeping because i would just use it as a pillow um i got mine like seven years ago so i'm not sure if they have it but i'll put a link down below if i find it um ideal thing for any travel scenario with a baby basically because it's you can use it in the um, airplane as well if they're sleeping you can use it as their neck pillow and it's definitely easy to take because it's got a clip so you can just clip it onto whatever like backpack bag whatever it is if you are still breastfeeding and you don't want to start formula then definitely get some open abayas they're the best things to take um for feeding so definitely take open abayas and um it will just make life so much easier also with the bibs don't take cotton bibs like you don't want to be washing while you're out there take those plasticky ones i'm not sure if they're plastic but you know what i mean the ones that you can wipe down they're really really easy and i just took one for the whole trip put them in um sterilizing solution as well and it was absolutely fine if you do decide to take a push chair take one and get a lightweight one with the uv protection um it's one of those things that you can get from amazon i'll put a link down below but it was ideal just to make it all black inside and to protect them from the sun it is always going to be hot there so definitely take a sun hat for baby not a normal sun hat like one where they're gonna look really cool but one of those swimming ones where it's like neck cover side ear cover head cover 
everything. Um, you want to be able to make sure that they are protected completely, especially if you're anything like me and you don't want baby to get down. 100%. And SPF 50 is a must. So Nivea do the best one that just soaks into baby skin. Um, just make sure you don't use it when you're doing Umra. Make sure you use a simple one because you're not allowed to use obviously perfume stuff. So definitely make sure you use this simple non-perfumed SPF 50. But for other days, the Nivea one is perfect. Do use a chair. Um, so I got these fold away chairs that I used to take with me all the time um, with this back support as well. So it's just ideal to be able to sit higher up so that baby can see you and you can see baby. Um, he won't get worried and he won't get lost inshallah you'll be able to see them all the time right so i hope that has been helpful those are my top tips and inshallah if you are going with baby i hope your trip goes well and if you do have any tips that you pick up along the way do put them in the comments down below so that other mums can read them as well do subscribe and like so i know to do more of these kind of videos and inshallah i will see you guys very soon take care bye